We're back on the You Watch, I Listen podcast with our very special guest, Joe Gantascoli from The Sopranos, who famously played Vito. Joe, how you doing? I'm doing good, What's guys. Up? How are you? You had a little trouble with that last name. Let me hear you say it again. Uh, G- Gantascoli? Gantascoli? I, I, like Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Italian myself, and I'm trying to pronounce it. And I went and watched an episode when you were on Artie Lang's show, and I was trying uh, to, I was trying to model it off how he was saying it, but clearly, I'm brain dead from too much partying over the last few weeks. Well, so, you would think, uh, you know, that that's just what happens. Comes to the territory. What, what, what are you partying about? You finally came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me now, man. Good. Oh, oh man. So, so. It's, 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 it's so, so it's funny you say that. So I actually I was doing some research, and you were the one that approached David Chase about the idea of having a closeted uh, mobster character. Correct? You had a, correct. You had a book that was called um, uh, what was it called? Uh, Murder Machine. Murder Machine, a book I was reading, and I brought it to actually not Chase, but one of the writers, and they brought it to Chase, and uh, um, I thought it would be interesting and kind of different. And a real challenge acting wise. Yeah, and it, it led to one of the more interesting arcs on the show. It really took a risk. And you actually had one of the only episodes of The Sopranos ever that you had your own inner monologue in the the famous, I believe it's the Johnny Cakes episode. Well, is that what I'm working? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. Well, I, I, I was going to say, Joe, this is Taylor. I'm the co host. Do you watch? I listen over here with Dan. And I also wanted to say wholeheartedly, I'm watching the show for the first time all the way through. And your character is probably one of my favorites. As far as your arc in the story, I'm at where, uh, where Vito just took off. Um, New off to New Hampshire. And like I said, it's really, really fun to watch. So I just want to say it's really cool to uh, speak to you today. Thank you. You know, it's funny. Your name is Taylor. I'm wearing my Lawrence Taylor jersey. Today. Oh, so nice. That's, uh, do, pretty good. Do you have the a, greatest. What's your Super Bowl pick today? Uh, I like the Patriots. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. The is going to cover them. And I think uh, Gronkowski, if it's his last name, he might have a big day. Yeah, I, he could. Covering the tight end. He's looked, he's looked healthy since the bye, they had their bye, a bye week, first round bye. Um, yeah, one of one of my props is over four catches, so I got that. I, got I, th- props. I think you're you're safe there. Right. Now, I was actually going back and uh, a couple weeks ago, before I even spoke to you, I was watching a movie and I caught you as an extra in it, one of your very first movies in Ed Wood that Tim Burton directed. That was like yeah, I got to work with Johnny Depp. That yeah, was that and you know what? That might be my favorite low key Burton movie as well. Not enough people have seen that movie, and uh, that was I think only like one of your second credited acting roles. I think it was my second role. That's, uh, that is correct. The first attention directors that were uh, cast me in Money for Nothing, my first role. Yeah, uh, listen, if there's one th- that. If there's one thing Dan is good at, is definitely doing his research. But let, let me let me ask you something. Um, th- like, do you have a favorite episode of Sopranos? Like, like uh, one that you personally love the most? Whether you're in it, whether you're not. Like, is there one particular that stands out in your mind? Before you die. Live for your die is a great episode. It's excellent. When I, I just recently did my top ten episodes for the twentieth anniversary, <laughs> and I think that was like my fourth or fifth one. What was the recap of that one? I'm, I'm not. I shouldn't have to explain oh, it yeah. to you. We got guys here asking for recaps. What a terrible fan. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So, um, are, are you? Fr- I, so I mentioned before I saw you on Artie's show. Is Artie a friend of yours, or is just someone that you know in passing? You no, know, I always. I actually, I'm not a big comedian fan. I, very few make me laugh. Artie happens to be one of them. Well, I've you, always found them. And I, I, you know, I always, uh, I had a lot with in common out of, you know, lost a parent when we were young, yeah. battled weight, he's a hardcore gambler, I'm a degenerate gambler. Hey, I am too, uh, I am too, it's perfectly you fine. Know. You, two of the four guys in this room are absolute degenerate gamblers, so you guys should get together and Dude, uh, exchange stories sometimes. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, I got money on Aaron Donald being Super Bowl MVP today. 50 wins me 800, so I'm pulling for that. <laughs> you're only a degenerate if you're a loser. You know what? I and we're degenerates. That, that, that could be, for sure. Two, but, um, you know, someone said that Sony Michelle. You have the two Georgia guys maybe look at a battle. I'm hoping that... Uh, Gurley and Michelle, Gurley yeah. Gurley is hurt. I hope his knees... Uh, I hope somebody bangs him right in the right off the bat. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that would be nice. I would enjoy that. Bangs his A little his Tanya knee. Harding to him pregame. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you is, um, in the leading into the final season of Sopranos, your character actually underwent a weight loss, and obviously you did as well. Was that written I, into the script, or is that something you did for your own health purposes? I, no, I did it on my own. And they wrote uh, it into the show? Yeah, and they always did that with a lot of different people, whatever is happening to them. Uh, like, you know, walnuts just have to be a very fastidious sort of... Uh, Absolutely. Kind of and... Uh, 
you know, so a lot of things carried over. Yeah. All right. We have a question from our one of our guests today, my buddy Bob. So uh, here we go. Hey, Joe. So uh, you actually had an appearance on The Sopranos before the character Vito was introduced. So uh, how'd you go from a scene as an extra to eventually getting a lead character, man? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking... That's a great question. I played a, a different character in one scene, and then they brought me back as Vito, which I don't think has been done. No. And the only suggestion that Chase ever did was my, uh, my suggestion. So they brought me in for that episode, Tennessee Maltesante. Yep, the legend of, of Tennessee Maltesante, yeah. yeah. Right, I just played a bakery customer, and uh, they brought me back as Vito. Uh, and of course, I had audition, but... Uh, that was cool. Um, yeah, and you're... then my big moment was when I killed Jackie Tunis. So yeah, I was, yeah, dude. <laughs> were, Dad, I love you that. Were involved in some really like crucial storylines and scenes. Hell yeah. Um, well, I was gonna say I, I just watched the episode. I think it was you and Paulie ran into the Columbian house and, and shot everyone up. Yeah. Shooting you, fat fuck. <laughs> yeah. And Paulie, <laughs> Paulie gets kicked in the dick and he's hurting for days. <laughs> I mean, it's classic, and it's got to be exciting for you, being you know, it's just the 20 year anniversary of the show. Um, have you been hitting up a lot of the the conventions and speaking? Games? Engagements besides talking yeah, to nah, not really. I believe it or not, I'm sort of low key. I, mean, I don't even really agree to do a lot of these things. Well, because, I... well what am I going to talk about? Now, listen, I have an NFL product. Um, I don't do really do much acting. I don't sit by the phone. I mean, involved with different businesses, but um, so some people, you know, I could call up FAN when I want. I've heard you oh, on the fan. Cool. I've heard you on the fan a few times. Yeah, but I stopped doing that because uh, what's, what, what am I going to say? What am I going to show them how much uh, I know about sports? How little I know about sports? Who, who do you like? On, who do you, <laughs> who do you yeah. like talking to the most on the fan? Are you a Francesa guy? <laughs> my number one uh, kid's fan. Man. Yes, <laughs> snow yes. Right, You got to be a Steve Summers guy at least. I am a Steve Summers who guy. Who is it? Uh, I like Beningo. Oh, uh, I don't like the morning team. I hated Con, but now I feel bad for him. I'm not a big uh, Boomer fan. I think he's a phony. Um, he was good, but and he does great impressions. But yeah, it, so it's you don't. Do you, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so now Josh has a question for you because I was doing some research, and um, when I was looking into you, you're also a, a chef. So Josh had a question. Hey Joe, how you doing? So uh, on top of acting, uh, so on top of acting, you know, we know you're also a chef. Uh, so which one of those things is your is your first passion? Do you like uh, being a chef more? Or yeah, I don't really have a passion. Which one did you know when I was on the greatest show ever? My first passion is cooking. Okay, nice. cool. But, uh, I don't even watch sports anymore. I'm a political junkie. But um, I don't uh, cooking is my my thing. She's still like arts and nice. Um, yeah. Can we pick this up in about five minutes? Uh, we're actually, I, I don't want to keep you too long, but we can definitely do, um, I think we, if you would not mind, not mind doing another call in a couple weeks once Taylor finishes watching the whole series. Yeah. Yeah, um, no, then I'll have more time. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. no problem, man. So, we just yeah. appreciate the time that you gave us, man, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. I just had one more question from a listener of ours. This is my buddy Alex the Canadian. Um, he is an Italian-American um, in Canada, and he want. this is a weird question, he's actually in the closet, and he wanted to know how he can come out to his family, and he actually references your character a ton. Would you have any suggestions for my buddy Alex the Canadian? Yes, say, you just like to say, Mom, Dad, I love taking it in the ass and sucking cock. <laughs> I love being a fan. <laughs> that's, that's perfect, Joe. So, Joe, you and I will talk soon. I really appreciate you giving us some I time. I we can still remain a family. Absolutely. <laughs> That that's perfect, yes. Joe. I really appreciate the time. I said to the I said to the crew. I asked the crew. I said, "Does this pool stool, uh, pool, pool cue make my ass look fat?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, well, uh, well, uh, it's been a great. I enjoyed it. Really. Thank you, Joe. We really appreciate it. We, yeah, we really appreciate. it. We'll talk to you soon, man. I'll hit you up soon. And all right. Okay, guys. All right, take care, man. Have a good one. Have a good one. Bye bye. And that was Vito from Dude, the Sopranos. What Joe. the fuck are we doing, dude? That Fucking was fun, man. man. We that just was... talked to Vito, bro. Uh,